It's peace, love, and rescue. Woofstock is coming to the Valley for the third year, and we want to be there with flowers in our hair. So here with all the details <laughs> is Mindy Martin and Sharon Lohman from New Beginning. So thank you guys for being here. I, I told I, this is perfect. I actually just got this necklace. <laughs> it's my dog, so we're all dog here, dog lovers here. Who did you bring with you? So this is Winnie Pooh. Oh, she Winnie. is a rescue, and so she is about a little over a year. Winnie's so, so precious. She is a good girl. And I love her story. Okay, so Woofstock is all about rescues, yes. just like Winnie here. So tell us about Woofstock. What is it? So Woofstock is a vendor fair and a food truck festival. We have, this year, it has grown so much. So we have a couple of buildings out at the Merced County Fairgrounds on October 7th. Okay. It's from 10 to 3. We have, uh, to date, we have about 90 vendors. And we have, I think it's about eight food trucks. We have dog training. KC we have a 24. little area for the dogs that are brought. So it's a dog park. Yeah. Um, we have two different bands. We have uh, the Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company is actually one of our large sponsors so they'll be out there with Whiskey River Saloon out of Atwater to, yeah. to, for adult beverages and um, <laughs> it's just a great day to raise money we have raffle tickets oh, and um, some great prizes. I so, love this. Okay, yeah. so we're raising money for New Beginnings. This yes. is their biggest, is this your biggest fundraiser yes. of the year yes. that you do? So yes. tell us about New Beginnings, what you guys do, who you are. Uh, we started in 2004 just going into the shelter and wanting to help, you know, a morning a week, and now we've grown. And um, our main our main focus is to get animals out of the shelter in Merced County. Okay. And now there are animals just everywhere. So we yeah. try to help people that find strays. Uh, we do flights to Oregon, to Washington. We drive there. We've driven to Colorado, to Montana. So it's just trying to get animals out of the county alive and relieve some of the the problems at the shelter with just right. the number of animals that they have coming in. Right. So we are trying to get animals, stray pets, maybe um, <laughs> surrendered pets into forever homes. Yes. So at Woofstock, mm. come here, baby. Oh my God. This is, I want to I play with this little dog because everybody knows my dog is so big. Oh my goodness. I love this guy. Okay. So at New Beginnings, are there dogs for adoption there? We have some that are in foster homes that people do adopt, but our biggest concern is transporting. Yeah. Because we started doing adoptions like most rescues and found that we weren't even touching the euthanasia rate. Right. So we try to get, we flew 138 out. Uh, dogs and cats. Recently, today we have 11 that are going to East Bay. Um, so we are on the road a lot. Yes. Yes. So we are going to have live music, vendors, and yes. all of this is to raise money so that you guys can continue to transport. Do you guys work with cats or just dogs? Oh, we work with everything. Everything. Okay. everything. We so just took 10 snakes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. And so this, yes, this is yes. costly. So I'm assuming that this is a dog friendly event, right? Yes, absolutely. And we always say, please bring your um, well-behaved dogs <laughs> with your well-behaved donors. Yes, and yes. Well-behaved like children. Yes, that would be great too. So yeah, we haven't had any concerns. This is our third year doing Woofstock. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, been great. The dogs have been great. And I read something. Um, I, okay, so there's, of course, there's stuff for people, but there's also stuff for dogs. There's yes. something called a soggy doggy. Yes. What is that? The soggy doggy is actually a, a groomer. It, oh! It happens, she happens to be my groomer, so she's wonderful. She drives over to my house and takes one dog at a time out to her little grooming van and brings them back, and they're all pretty and good to go. I so, love it. So she'll be out there and. All kinds of stuff. Stuff mm -hmm. for the dogs to play, stuff for the humans to play yep. so is do we need tickets no. how do we get in it's free free it and then free. you come and support the wolf stock yes. and then help you guys raise money all right tell me when and where is it and and what we should put on our calendar it's october 7th at the merced county fairgrounds from 10 a.m to 3 p.m the biggest way that we raise money because it's a free event is selling our raffle tickets okay so we have uh, raffle tickets are ten dollars a ticket or you can buy 
five for forty dollars, and we have four prizes. One is a seven night stay in Mexico. Oh. One is a seven night stay in Tahoe. We have a seventy five inch television, and we have a staycation in Merced, which is a night at the Tioga um, Hotel and some dinner and movie and kind of some fun stuff. So they're they're really good prizes. We also sell baskets that are donated to us. So okay. we will take donations of baskets that we get to then sell. A lot of the vendors um, gift over the yeah. baskets and then we sell them. We probably have about 100, 100 baskets, I think, okay. scheduled. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be a great day. The weather is great. Yes. The location's going to be great. Yes. And, you get, and you get to bring your dog, which is, you know, my boyfriend always <laughs> says, if Waylon doesn't go, I don't go. <laughs> oh, that's so, right. So yes. we'll get him out of the house for that. We will have all the information on the third annual Woof Stop. We'll put it online. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you, you so much. Fresno State University Theater kicks off the main stage season with a thought-provoking drama. The cast joins us next with all the details. What Jacqueline has to say about Berg injury lawyers. They know what they're talking about.